In this tutorial, we'll walk through creating a sparkle effect action in Adobe Photoshop, perfect for photos, special effects, or even if you're just looking to add a little magic to your project. So, let's dig right in. Make sure you're in Adobe Photoshop. I'm already in the software, and I have an example image open here. Let's start off by creating a sparkle brush. To open up your brushes panel, go to Window, Brush Settings. Alternatively, we can go to Window, Brush. And then, click on this little brush icon right here to open up your brush settings. Let's pick a soft round brush as the basis for our work. Then, under Brush Tip Shape, let's change the spacing to 150%. Make sure your size is 100 pixels. Now let's look at the shape dynamics. We want the size jitter to be at 100%. I'm also going to set my control here to pen pressure, which means how much I push down on my tablet pen will impact this jitter. Keep the minimum diameter at 0%, angle jitter at 100%, and roundness jitter at 0%. Now let's check out scattering. Turn that scattering all the way up. Let's keep the count at 1 and the count jitter at 0. All right, now that we've customized this brush, let's save it as a new one. Click this More icon in the right-hand side of the panel, and then select New Brush Preset. Let's call it Sparkles. And then click OK. Now let's create the sparkles themselves. Start with a new layer above your artwork. I'm going to call this new layer Sparkle Small 1. Now let's use our sparkle brush to add some sparkles to the photo. I'm starting off with a brush diameter around 10 pixels but use the size that you prefer. Let's add these sparkles in white. You can change your color to white here in the foreground color. Note, I'm using a tablet pen to add my sparkles, so I get that pen sensitivity. Let's create another new layer. I'll call this one Sparkle Small 2 and place it between our photo and our first sparkles layer. We're going to repeat this process, adding some more varied sparkles. Now let's do it again. Again, I'm creating a new layer. Let's call this one Sparkles Medium 1. As you might guess, we're going to put larger sparkles on this layer. Again, add sparkles to your imagery. This time, I'm going to use a brush around 35 pixels in diameter. Again, I'm sticking with white here. Have fun with it. Then, as you guessed, it's time to make another layer. This time, let's make Sparkles Medium 2. We're going to add more white sparkles with our medium brush. I'd recommend keeping it varied. Consider decreasing your diameter the closer you are to the center to help simulate depth. Again, you don't have to go with these specific diameters. Experiment with it. Now let's create another new layer, but this one we'll call Sparkles Large 1. You guessed it, we're going to put even larger sparkles here. So this time I'm going to raise the brush diameter to around 50. Again, I'm using a white color. Our goal is an organic look. Don't be afraid to experiment with the size of your brush and the placement of your sparkles. Okay, time for another new layer. This one will be Sparkles Large 2. But this time, let's make them even bigger. Something around 75 pixels in diameter should work well. Add varied sparkles to your work. Again, remember, it's a good idea to decrease the diameter as you work towards the center. Take note of the order of my layers here. They go in order from small to large. So let's select Sparkle Small 1, this layer right here. Then go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. Let's name this color SS1 Color and choose the color EEA815. Click OK when you're done. Next, let's make this layer a clipping mask. We can do so by right-clicking on the layer and selecting Create Clipping Mask. Let's change the blending mode on this layer to Linear Dodge Add. Now, let's duplicate this layer. We're essentially going to have the same clipping mask on our Sparkles Medium 1 layer. I'm just going to drag it into place and make sure it has the blending mode I want. Linear Dodge Add, and then it's a clipping mask. Perfect. Let's name it SM1 color, just so we can keep track of what it is. Let's repeat this process for Sparkles Large 1. Duplicate our yellow clipping mask layer, 
drag it into place, and make sure those attributes are the same again. We want Linear Dodge Add as our blending mode. I'm going to name this one SL1 Color, so again, I can keep track of what my layers are. Now let's put all our work into a convenient folder. Select all of your layers, except for the artwork, by holding down Shift while you click. Then, just click the folder icon at the bottom of your Layers panel, and there you have it. Everything in one convenient folder. Next, let's create the focus. Select the layer below your Sparkles folder. Then, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels, to create a new adjustment layer. Let's name it Focus 1. Double-click on the thumbnail in this adjustment layer to open up its properties. Here's a look at the settings we want. Change your output levels to 232. Next, let's select the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. Now, using a soft brush, let's add some value in the center, in a shape like this. Okay, great. Next, let's duplicate our photo layer. Then, let's apply a Gaussian blur to this duplicated layer. We can do that by going Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. A radius of 10 pixels should work just fine. Then, click OK. Next, let's add a layer mask. To do so, let's go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. To make the reveal here selective, let's select the brush tool again. I want to use a black brush again here, so make sure your foreground color is still set to black. Using a soft round brush, let's add some value to the center here, like this. Let's finish up by giving this layer the name Focus 2. To wrap things up, let's add another adjustment layer. This time, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Let's call it Color Look. Double click on the layer's thumbnail, and in the Properties panel, now, we can make subtle changes to the red, blue, and green values here. For example, let's add a different curvature for red. Now, let's try a little something different with green. And finally, we'll leave blue as it is. Next, let's reset our swatches. You can click this icon here by your foreground and background colors to reset them, or you can just type D on your keyboard. Now, let's add a gradient map. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map. Let's name it Overall Contrast. Let's change the blending mode of this new layer to Overlay with an opacity of 10%. On to another adjustment layer. This time, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Vibrance. We'll name this one Overall Vibrance slash Saturation. Naming our layers can help keep things organized for us, especially when things get a little complicated. Double-click on this layer's thumbnail to view the properties. Let's change the vibrance to 10 and the saturation to 5. Okay, one more adjustment layer. This time, let's adjust the levels once again. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. Let's name this one Overall Brightness. Double-click on the thumbnail in this layer, and in our properties, let's adjust our furthermost value here to 252. Now, let's try something different. We could do this with a screenshot, but in this case, I'm going to select all of our content here. Then right-click and select Duplicate. And then right-click with these duplicated layers selected and select Merged Layers. Now I have a copy of my work at the same resolution and quality. Let's desaturate this layer by going to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Next, let's go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and set the radius to 2 pixels. Then click OK. Change the blending mode on this layer to Vivid Light. Change the opacity to 50%, and then let's name this layer Overall Sharpening. And there you have it. We've created a fun Sparkle Photoshop effect. Remember, many of these values are suggestions. Experiment with it and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and happy designing!